The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Monday, March the 14th, and we're looking at the Dow 166 at 32,119. Let me run these quickly because it's, we need to get through the mess. And the mess is that we've had a cluster formation down at the lows towards the, between the 32,000 uh, 700 and 32,200. And we need to look at this just to say, we've started off the week with a little bit of strength. The other, if there wasn't this war going on right now, if crude oil prices hadn't shot up, if wheat hadn't shot up, if gold hadn't shot up, we probably would be looking at a situation now where the Dow was testing the upside strength at 34,179 that was made uh, beginning of March. And we would be actually at the 34,400 area, the 200 period moving average. So there's this tremendous cap on the market at this particular point. There's just no clarity. Remember, the market uh, lives with uncertainty every day, but it doesn't like uncertainty about uncertainty. In fact, we've probably got uncertainty twice removed, if not three times removed. Looking at the S&P, saying, well, I can say is this all of this week we've got. 32,500 support has to hold, otherwise a real quick trip down to that 32,200 low that was made on the 24th. We're looking at the S&P up now, it's up 16, it's getting a little bit of strength. The, there is residual strength. To play it is really difficult. So for subscribers to my opening call, I decided we wouldn't. We did this the other day in the Dow uh, Diamonds. We, we, we got the core long position from way, way, way back. We still have. But for a shorter term, we go long, we go short. We went long and we managed to make, uh, because we raised the stop, made, made a few cents. Um, but I, I wasn't prepared to hold it, um, even though I like it with, a trem I think there's tremendous support in the shorter term because we are so oversold. It, but holding, holding a rally is really the key. So I decided for subscribers, we would move into areas that I think are, are much more, how can I put it? I'm not going to say lucrative because we just don't know yet, but they're much more interesting because they uh, they surf it, they, they cover areas that I think are going to see strength looking on. And in fact, I had a bunch of calls and we're going to get a, a bunch of questions and I'm going to get to them right now with, with charts uh, in the commodity area. Uh, let me just do this for one second. Okay, so the S&P really needs to hold 41, it's at 42.24. It needs to hold the 41.70 area, otherwise that's a problem. Looking at the uh, QQQ, NDX 100, here as well, you should see some, where did I type that? Oh, I typed it into the den. Sorry, Dan, I'm just typing it onto my, my chart right here. QQQ up 65 cents at 325. After the beating, the drubbing that so many of these Q, these NASDAQ 100 stocks have had, you would expect that at any point it would have a 10 or even a 15% rally. It can't even get, what is it, up 0.2%. It really needs much more. And on, the, on support, if it takes that 322 <clears throat> in the next day or two, the 319, 318 area is going to be absolutely key to hold. Let's go to the IWM, Russell 2000. Let me get the Russell 2000. There it is. Trading at 196.60, down 12 cents. Uh, Got to keep these... Uh, Vocals lubricated. Going to be doing a show at three o'clock today, the uh, Tom O'Brien show. So uh, let's hope we can keep the uh, vocals flourishing. We're looking at the uh, IWM down three ticks now, getting a little bit better. It's going to try to go uh, uh, to a break even. Uh, but all it's doing is just trading in the lowercase h to a lowercase m. Let me just show you this for those of you who are new to my work. Uh, here we go. The Chapman methodology basically looks at three. Patterns that repeat over and over, straight line move up, straight line move down, number one. Cup formation goes from one point down, comes back up again, retests that left side low, could be a V, could be a cup, that's number two. 
Number three is goes from one point up and then comes back down. Could be an inverted V or, or an arch formation, and you can get a combination. Down, cup, sorry, a down arch that fills and takes out the left side low. That could be very negative. Or um, the inverse Y, sharp rally, pulls back, makes that cup formation, and then takes that out decisively, very bullish. What are we looking at here? In this case, this is the lowercase h, just broke left side support, but immediately ran up, and then it ran up and failed again, curved over, rolled over. But in fact, it's really looking like an M formation, lowercase m. Let's go to um, SMHs. The SMHs semiconductor should be rallying today. Oh, they're, they're down 30 cents at 245.49. Everything I read about the, the semiconductors, and it's been such a mix for what, six, seven months. I've been talking about the semis for I don't know how long. Since uh, the high that was made back in, was that November? Yeah, November the 22nd at 318.82. Um, I've been saying that this, let me just pull this back. Yeah, I've been saying that from my perspective, the semiconductor industry, which leads the market up and down, is just looking very poor. And all those stocks, that, that supplied materials, uh, look at that, it goes from the 167 range. Uh, down to, is that 123? Even Micron, which was looking fantastic, as uh, back on um, mid Feb when it ran back to 95, 98.45 January high, whoosh down to today's low of 71.90. Well, 71, no, 70.03. Nvidia, I've been saying for some time now, Nvidia, the darling, the darling, the darling of the semis. Uh, uh it just doesn't look like a darling anymore. It's going from the high that was made back in November the 22nd, 346.47 with the 319 round number low that day. It traded down to 208, tried to rally, comes back to 208.80, comes back to 208.90, rallies up and then fails in the lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m smaller pattern. What does it do? It plunges down to 206. Not under the under the 200 period exponential moving. Oh, we can just go on and on with these semis. So the semis have a real problem. They're telling me that the market, the overall market, since so semis invariably for decades lead the market up, lead the market down. They've been failing. It's not a good market sign. But in the meantime, very short term, I, I, I don't see any reason why there couldn't be a bounce. It's just you've got to be very, very careful. Now what we're looking at is the uh, XLK. This is XLK is the uh, S&P Select Tech Spider Fund. It makes a all-time high of 177.04 back December the 28th. It's trading now down to 144. 30 points. It's not that bad, but it's not great. And we're looking at uh, the monthly chart with uh, two weeks to go. It looks to me like that's going to get a sell signal, maybe in a sell mode. All right, let's go back to our story. We want to look at gold. Gold is down 27 now uh, on the 14-period exponential moving average. Now, this is a really good sign in the shorter term. It's one of the reasons why I did really want to go back into the um, back into the diamonds, and then I thought, you know, if this is going to move, to go into a, a stock basically that's trading at 332 at that point, I'd rather choose something even if it's in, the, in the triple digits that has the potential. So we have, we've got one that so far is working very nicely. We've got two actually that are very working very nicely in the triple digits. I don't usually do that, but I think it's worth it. I'll be back in a moment. Thousand of 296. Nine. We'll be right. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So we're back. It's just a ton of questions, and these are questions that I really want to answer all of them. So I don't, I'm not going to take too much time now. Silver is also pulling back. Silver's down. Uh, 89 cents at 25.27. We were talking about this the other day. I said there could be a, a, quite a sharp pullback here. We're looking at high-grade copper. Also, that, actually, that one's really taking a dive. That's gone from the five point i think it was 06 area down to a low today of 4.49 that, that's that puts it back into the midpoint of the rectangle formation it says out of all the different commodities maybe this is the one that isn't going to re, uh, uh, push to the upside quickly uh, let's see i want to do the tlt oh I, I can't even look at it the tlt made a lower low today uh this is going back to the 133.19 low that was made back in March, April of last year, screens up to that 155.12 area, and now it's trading at 132.46, and that's what I was doing. Remember when uh, uh, Tommy was having a little trouble with his uh, internet, so I quickly took over and I had the pleasure of um, interviewing um, Teddy, Teddy Kegstar on Wednesday. Uh, and we were looking at it, and I said, you know, Teddy, I, and he was looking at rates and all that, and I said, if you're looking at that monthly chart, that big arch formation, I don't know if he knows about my dreaded H, has this lowercase H pattern, and that arch says if it's if it breaks a certain point, and I can't remember what it was at that time, I think it was uh, 139, uh, that 133.19 low that was made could be tested, and here we are at 132.45. Uh, I mean, this is uh, yields. I don't know what the Fed's going to do. It's being done for it. In fact, the Fed doesn't have to do anything. Um, so, okay, yeah, the other come the. Uh, if I missed, oh, of course, the dollar. I think I did the dollar. Yeah, dollar was down a little bit. It's still near the highs, down nine ticks at 99.01. Remember, the dollar is the um, currency of respect. All right, that's all. So it's where everyone's flowing because this is this is the best economy around. Uh, the gold is the icon of fear, global geopolitical fear. It's my it's my interpretation. And um, when you go to the VIX index, the VIXI, that is your your localized uh, area of fear, and that's market wise. And look at this, the the, the VIXI is trading right now uh, down 15 ticks at 30.60. So that's what I was saying, that I thought that there was enough residual strength. I just didn't want to go back into the diamonds for subscribers. Rather, I thought, why not try to choose stocks that are also in the triple digits, 
comparable, but better. Uh, but but they have the potential not to, to, to kind of zip around under the radar. I don't know if that's going to work so far as working. And uh, the VIX index right now is suggesting that even with all the turmoil going on, it's holding at a high because fund managers want to get in. They want to be there. They need that, that precaution. They need that insurance. And they've got a trend in place. But at the same time, I'm treating it VIXI, Dolly, that's the dollar, Bondi, we just did bonds, TLT, and uh, Goldie. Those are very important. Wait, wait, wait. There wasn't their fifth. Oh, crudy. Crudy. Uh, crude oil at this particular time. <laughs> crudy uh, is trading down sharply. It's down 832 at 101. Remember about three, four days ago, I said, in fact, I said to subscribers, I don't have the courage to do it, but this is a perfect time probably to go to the SCO, which is two times short. It's up 9% 9, 9 today at 6.54. But look at the way... I mean, it is so volatile. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you put your stop in and everything's okay, I just don't want to mess around at all, but I think that this can go a little higher and then crude starts to form some kind of support. That's the way I'm looking at it right now. Okay, so we've got all of that out the way. Let's go from people that uh, emailed me. Um, first of all, KEP. I think it was Jason wondering about KEP, and that is at $9.94.03. It is called, I forgot to type that in, this is the Korea Electric Power Company. And look what it's done. So what he was saying was that, oh, EWK, is it, it can't be EWK. EWK, no, uh, I'll check it out in a minute. That the country itself, the, the ETF fund was dropping sharply. And look how this has gone from this doji candle well, it always has little tiny candles, but it was a doji candle low on the 28th of January at 8.40, and it went to Friday's high of 10. Uh, did I say 10? I should say 10. Uh, there it is. Of 10.07. It's trading right now down at 9.93, down just uh, four ticks. So uh, the question was, I should have had that question already. I thought I did. Let me just see if I can find it quickly because it's a really good question because you want to be looking at what's working. There you go. Hi, Basil. Can you look at KEP Korea Electric Power Corporation for a long? It is the largest electric utility in Korea and pays a big dividend. I don't know anything about the financials, but the stock seems to be in a leg B monthly and acting well. If you check out EWY, EWY, EWY. Uh, it's the exact opposite thing. You're correct. Uh, that's the ETF. Korea ETF is going straight down while KEP has been going up. Thanks, best Jason. So, Jason, I love your thinking here. Um, I, I still feel rather strongly about going out of the U.S. with all other problems that could, could appear, um, especially if you're looking at a dividend stock. You see, what you're doing is you're looking at the dividend and you're looking at it as maybe secure, but you're also looking at a career. You're looking at a country. You know, there could be tensions there at any time as well. So on the one hand, you're looking for safety. On the other hand, you're just putting yourself right into the hot box. So I'm just going to say I would not get too carried away, but as one particular position that produces one particular set of results in this, and I think that dividend actually is fairly safe because it's a country um, um, electric power course. So that they're probably going to, even if they cut the dividend, it's still going to be a pretty good dividend for a while. That's just my thinking. So what I would say, you asked me where, well, key support in the 200 period exponential moving average and the 14, because the nine has already gone higher, is at 9.66. But if you ask me, I would prefer under the 200 period moving average because it started the zigzag between, look, I've got a propeller shaft with the, with the 200 period moving average in the middle. So up and down and up and down. So I would prefer halfway into that, that lower part, and that's at about 9.41. Now, to get from 9.95 to 9.41, that might take a that might take a week or so. But if you're asking about a dividend stock, if you're asking about being looking at it as a safety factor, 
I don't see the safety factor, but I do think that the dividend will be fairly safe. So that's a contradiction in terms. And at the same time, you asked me a question, where would, where would, um, where would you probably look for support? And I would say you could do two things. You could start a position at 966, add another position at 941, and hope you only get one. And this goes from the, pulls back to 966, and in two weeks' time, it's trading at 10.20. That's the best case scenario. You don't get the second one. I prefer that you don't, because if it goes all the way down to the 940s, that says, ooh, we could stay in this lower range and have a lot of resistance for long. So I hope that helps you pay EP. Next thing you want to look at is CF, which is Cliff. Uh, CF is holding hydrogen. Hydrogen will be back in a moment. Straight. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFN and hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, yeah, folks, we're back. And I just want to say, yes, uh, um, JB, uh, my, I also had a trend flashing high, and I had a trend flashing high on Friday, which meant Chapman Wave trend gauge. It's actually Richard Arms trend gauge, but I call it the Chapman Wave because I only use one particular way. It's just the numbers that I use. Um, the flash to say that there should be a nine to at least a nine to eleven point uh, rally in the E mini uh, of, uh, within two days, and that's going to help the market to rally. It's kind of what we've seen, and we got it again today. And there's still a little bit of strength there. So let's go back. We're looking at CF, which is CF Industries Holdings Inc. <laughs> So it sounds like the um, Dow Industrial, uh, this is 
too many too many words here look it's like the iyt which is the uh, i shares dow jones transportation average index fund too many words too many words all right so cf trading at 95.72 down 34 cents this is a little bit like the um like the patterns that we've seen in all of those commodities the weather is not as bad anyway close to the crude oil or wheat or anything like that but it is pulling back I like this hydrogen, nitrogen products for clean energy, fertilizing. I mean, it's got all the cool things that you want. Uh, CF Industries, now let me just check. We once had it at 67.99, and we had it at 70.71, kind of a break-even trade. And uh, wow, and now it's 67, 70, it's 30 points higher than when we initially had it. Um, I like it, and I think I'd like to get back into it. But here's the question. In this particular environment, it's one of two things is going to happen. Either it is in such favor, it is so desirous that it actually doesn't give you an entry point to get back in. But if you're nibbled here, let's say you're out, you're in it and you're out. I think a number of people said we're in it, we're out. Uh, what do we do now? Or oh, they've taken quite a bit off. What do we do? It had 100.52. Dropped to 85. I mean, that's 15 points. It's 12% or so a decline. Just whoops, in, in two days. And now it's back again, up at 95.37. Now, if you had to start a position here, if you've never been in it and you're starting fresh, that's different to when you've got a kitty because you've, got a, you've already made gains in it. And now you can give a little bit of room. But if you're fresh and you're going to go in at 95.25, all it has to do is retest the low that was made at 84.70 on the 9th of March, and you're down 10%. But if we are looking at something that is in a leg D in the weekly chart, and a potential could be an alternate count, and we do this as the monthly chart, you want to see a big picture of this. And look, at the, look at the way it moves up. It made peak F high back in uh, 2011. In 2013, it went to an E, and then it rallies, rallies, goes to a peak D. Remember, D, E, and F, you've got to be real careful of. And D comes in, and it sells off back in sort of June-ish at about uh, 69 or so, and it pulls all the way back to 20. I mean, <laughs> and then it rallies back up in a cup formation, and I had this as a left side, right side price time match with the fulcrum right here, right here. And that said to me that there's a good chance that this thing could rally and it could rally in the same time frame to the same time price of that high that was made uh, July of 2015, the monthly chart of 70.32. Well, lo and behold, look what it did to the exact week. It might be a week early. No, nope, it's the exact week. It went to what? It went to 74.77. It pulled back for one week, and then it screamed to the upside. So guess what I'm saying? If you're fresh to this, you're getting in on a purely technical basis. And now I'm not talking fundies. I'm not talking about it's in the sweet spot. I'm saying just purely on a technical level, if it's the first time you're in, and I said to you, start a position here at 94.56, and maybe you have to have two, three positions. Maybe you just start a little position here. You add a little more. At 88.83, if it ever gets there, that's the 14-period um, uh, exponential moving average in the daily. And then you just have an outside thing that says, you know what, if this thing takes out 85 and goes to 83, that would be my third position. Personally, I would like it to that it got two positions. I don't want to get to the third because although it's, it's, you're, you're dollar-cost averaging in something that should be a viable instrument, Hydrogen, nitrogen products, clean energy, fertilizer, emissions abatement. Woo -hoo -hoo. What else could you want? It might not do it. On the other hand, if you don't get in here at 94.48, now it's down to $1.69. See what I mean? How quickly these things are starting to move? And as suddenly you're looking at it at 98, and you say, oh, my God, I've only got a little bit. Oh, I, I didn't get in. I was waiting. What should I do? Now your risk reward is way worse. What if it makes a new high at 101.53? And I'm saying, hey, there could be a leg F. <laughs> the MACD is good, but the stochastics only at 80 percent. It's not at 93 percent, and the weekly chart still looks fantastic. So uh, I'm I'm outlaying for you what a lot of people have asked me the question of. 
for stocks that have done this sort of thing. So all I'm saying is what I would do is if you have been in it and you've got a bit of uh, you've got some profits on this pullback here, I think it's going to go another couple of days. That's where I would start my latest position. It would only be a small starter position because this is a Chapman Wave Roman candle, but a green one, and it's closed. Well, the third day, I don't know if it's going to close, but if it closes for a third day above 99.62, uh, this is the Chapman Wave Roman candle, this is the inverted Roman candle at the high, all time high. So it says that the closing price of that candle of 92.34, that has to be key support. If it takes it out, you're going to go through the whole process as if it was a red candle, because halfway into this wick, 87, below 87, says it could touch the, that last of 85. So you see what I'm saying? It's so, on the fundamental side, I think it's in the sweet spot. On a purely technical side, I'm saying it's kind of overbought, but overbought stocks can get even more overbought. So what's the answer? The answer is I'm going to say in this area between 94.70 right now, I prefer to wait another day or two, take a chance, wait a day or two. I'd rather get today's lows 91.50. I'd much prefer to start my new position closer to 91.50, under 92. And I'm just going to leave it at that. If it goes higher, we have to have a different strategy. Next question was Moz. Moz is, and a number of people asked the same question. Actually, before I get to that, um, uh, PAW in, in the Tiger YouTube says, Basil, Steve talks often of global flow of capital. With tenure over 2.1%, this could be a tailwind for big inflows, ultimately seeking higher returns of equities. No. So uh, I, what I'm going to say to you, I like, that's the kind of thinking that the dollar is telling me, that our economy is still very strong. And as one of the stronger economies, Money is flowing into the currency preference, which is the dollar, the icon of American uh, security, because so far we're not talking about six months time, we're talking about right now. And I think if there's going to, I really don't need to, I, I don't want to talk about it. If I have time at the end, I might talk about it. And that's the Ukraine thing, other than to say, Putin, uh, yeah, just I'll talk about it now. Look. Putin, in, in, when I'm talking crude oil, look what happened. Back in, back in, when he invaded Georgia, August the 1st to the 12th of 2008, it was just 12 days and crude oil punch. When he invaded Crimea, February the 12th, uh, 2015, crude oil a few weeks later plunged. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So, folks, the next one is Mo's, uh, M O S, the Mosaic. I know this is not Mo's in, in uh, Great Britain. This is a Mosaic company down 57, uh, down at 57.20, off 4.72. This is making the dreaded H pattern here again. I think there's a little bit more downside. And how all of these start, this is a phosphate. Uh, a, a, potash phosphates fertilizers the mosaic company how it tests if it does the low that was made at 5290 so looking longer term personally what i would recommend is try to buy an a call just like uh, june or august just go really far out just because if it's going to work it doesn't i'd rather hold it or you could you could rotate you can you know you could uh, you could move it uh, from month to month but i would just i'd go out a little bit at least to april or may and i'd get a call and that's one way and then you've got all the patients in the world you can wait and see how it tests chapman wave roman candle of uh, the ninth uh it hit the 14 pre moving average it hits it once there's a chance it's going to try to hit it again if it closes under that it says now you've got resistance on the upside i think just i would give it just a little time see the dow's now up 345 is trying its best to hold a rally s and is up 28 and that takes me to the next question of course uh spy so the question where would i get in on, on uh mosaic I'd probably try to wait a little bit. I'd have patience as the 57, maybe start a position if it can get to the 50, 54. That's your starter position. Wait for another one. And then I think um, over a period of weeks, we'll see whether or not it comes back into um, something that is really a target area, a sector of, of, of demand. So it's SPW, uh, SPY, V, that's the volume. The, uh, I'm sorry, that is the... Yeah, let me just open this up. This is the S&P Portfolio Spider Fund, and this is the value, V for value, and it made a peak C. This is the other reason why I somehow, I still think that 2022 is going to see the higher prices based even on this is the value. Yeah, look at the S&P cash. The S oh, no, let's go to the, let's go to the SPY, which is the, the trading vehicle for the cash. See, that's still holding pretty low. Three months since the high, and we're still trading at 422. So either we just get this horrible news and we collapse from, yeah, and this means we've only just started the bear market. Uh, this is going to be, I, I don't, I'll talk about it later on. Maybe when I do time show, I'll talk about it a little bit more. But in the meantime, SPYV, I would talk, say that if you're in, if you want to be in this kind of big cap, uh, ETF, I would say the V is way better than the Y. I would go SPY V. Yes. And you, uh, sometimes you're going to, the, the SPY will do better sometimes, the value. But overall, it's holding above the 200 period moving average where the SPY is underneath. So, yes, I like it better. Uh, next question. Oh, so, so this question about inflows, um, I. I like the concept, and I know Steve does it in a really a nice, nicely articulated way. 
Uh, he looks at all the different, in different currencies, he looks at different things. Uh, so I, I would actually ask Steve that question, because from my perspective, I have to look at something else to say that I have still not got that cl climactic coda phase that I'm looking for with everyone. Look, Schwab right now, Schwab is up, woohoo, 5%, 4%. That 8352 uh, in a leg B, but it really has come down sharply from the 9624 double top down to the 74-ish uh, 74 area, 7374. And it leaves a lot to be desired in the weekly chart. But that monthly chart says, you know, what's the big deal? It's just a bit of a pullback. And I need to see how Schwab is acting in three weeks' time. If Schwab is down at uh, 60, 67, 65, that just, that's really negative. That means something else. But if it's holding here, it's at a pretty decent rally. And now it's giving back all of that rally. But it still only goes to the 74 area. And the IAI, which we are still long, from 45 um, is holding in 98.44. Did it 116? Weekly chart looks terrible. Uh, the monthly chart is having a deeper pullback than uh, than the actual spy that we were looking at. If you're just looking at monthly charts, so this is the one that says to me it's up at uh, up a dollar 81 today. I want to see the entire iShare broker dealer index at some point in the next three weeks try for the 101 to 103 area to use up time on the upside, and then it can come back down. But if it can't rally, and the next thing we know, this is at 87. That's a big negative. So yes, I think that's part of it. So the answer to the question from Par W is, I I can't speak to it in, in Steve's terms. I can speak to it in my own terms. And I, I although I'm really nervous about what's going on, because I, I Look, in the den, I don't know how accurate it is, but there's a report that Russia will set up a banking system in Iran that will allow Russia and Iran to transact business and avoid uh, sanctions placed by the USA, Europe, and other countries. And then it goes on to say, and of course, Iran is negotiating the oil deal. Uh, I mean, this is, I don't want to get into it. All I, all I think is that Putin is... At this point, he's showing he's a lot smarter than a lot of people. Uh, vicious, ruthless, but in his own way, he's he's manipulating to be able to at least do what he set out to do. And he'll stay there. And I was looking at, remember, 12 days in Georgia, five weeks in, um, uh, where was it? Uh, oh, five weeks in... There it is. Okay, and then we go uh, five weeks in oh, Crimea, of course. Crimea, and now it's already going into the, uh, it'll be four weeks soon. So what we're looking at is uh, what happens? This is different to every other time. This time you've got the crude oil much, much higher and holding in the, in the very high range. You've got wheat uh, still acting really well, although it's pulling back like we discussed from the Chapman Wave uh, Roman candle. Remember Roman candle? Uh, it's up a little bit today, up 16 at 11.22. Look, it did go under the 14 period moving average. Now it's to try, try to find some kind of a base. So the fact that wheat is all, this is different. And not only that, the whole um, panoply of, um, de you know, if you have a red line, you say this is the, the line, and it gets crossed and you don't do anything, then you have to find another red line. I mean, you know that from kids, you know. If you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't and the kid does and you don't uh, follow through, well, there's a little problem there. So uh, it's the analogy might be a little weak, but it's kind of the same theme. What we're looking at here is a question came in about VLO, VLO. So they're all doing the same thing. So Valero, whoa, ho, 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 they're not all doing the same thing. Valero Energy, oh, I had this, I, you know, I've notated this, maybe 20 or 30 times. I'm talking about daily, weekly, monthly over the years. And somehow, every once in a while, I lose the data. I could get it again, but let's just do this. So Valera is holding really well. It's down 7 cents at 91.60. Uh, it's still, so Valera is in a different part of the oil and energy uh, sector. I like this very much. Now the question is, uh, what about, well, I have to do this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna run out of time. All right, we've got a break coming up. I've got Valera to do. I've got, um, okay, and then there are one or two stocks that came in here, and I'll talk about it. Be back in a moment.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, let's do this quickly. We've got Valero, which is trading at, uh, Valero is trading at 91.41, 101.99. Um, and uh, this has a rectangle formation, and at 91, it has a 10-point extra to go to for that rectangle formation, the lopsided gravy cup. And we're looking at some, yes, some kind of digestive phase, but my target would be the 100 left side high that was made back around about, uh, what was it, uh, November 2019? Uh, yeah, November, this is November of 2019, it hit... 101.99. How could it miss uh, two, 102 like that? Round number. All right, 101.9. So, and the key support level at this particular moment. So what does it do? Is mar manufactures and mark. It's a marketer of transportation fuels in the petrol and chemical and power area. So there's a potential double top right now. It could have a short-term pullback from the 19377 high of the 11th, and the high on Friday was 90. Oh, 362. Isn't this unbelievable how many times you've seen these double tops? So unless it spirals up quickly and gets to 9450 and holds there for a couple of days, it's got a potential little bit of a double top. So I, I'd say if you're in it, stay along. I, I wouldn't touch it. It's looking really good. But at the same time, if it does start to pull back, the whole area between, eight, it's at 91, the whole area between 8810 and 86 is your first key support level. 
And that's where if you aren't in it, I'd probably say you're going to have to wait just a little bit to try to get it there, or you're going to have to go in now with a smaller position with a wider stop. So we're about to wrap up. I'm going to be doing the Tom O'Brien show later on. I think I did everything that I wrote down. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, one quick question came in here. Um, yeah, so it, it just says, uh, uh, as you always say, ignore the news. I'm ignoring the news to a certain extent, but I'm not ignoring the fact that at any moment, negative news can come in based on the war that's going on. And is it a war really? Or is, it, is, is this an invasion? Because I don't know if Ukraine sent even one bomb over to the Russian side. 